Hi, this is Paul. In my previous video, I talked about nested compositions and the importance of understanding how compositions can interact with each other. Today, I want to talk about pre-composing, which is another aspect of compositions that relates directly to nesting compositions. Let's say I've started working on a project like this one right here, and I've got some boxes that are moving through, and I've got a welcome uh, text layer. Now, in this instance, let's say I'm completely done working with all these boxes. Well, that's great, except now I'm stuck with 16 layers of boxes, and they're just taking up space. Now, of course, if I don't want to see them, I could hit this icon here, which is Shy, and once I've enabled Shy on all of them, which I can also do by clicking and dragging down, and then enabling Shy, it hides them all, which is great. The layers are still there, but it's shied them. But let's say I want to do something a little bit better. Let's say I want to take them and treat them as a group. Now, if you've worked in uh, Illustrator, you're very familiar with the idea probably that you can just select a whole bunch of objects, right click on them, and group them. And then they take on different properties as a group. You can do something similar in After Effects, and it's called pre-composing. Now, pre-composing can be used for any number of reasons. In this case, I'm going to use it because I'm done with all these layers. I need them in the background. I don't want them taking up that much room. And actually, I probably should have worked on these in a separate composition to begin with because they're just muddy muddying up my main composition. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select my top square here, which is layer 2. I'll scroll down, and I'll select the bottom one. So now I've selected all of my moving squares. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up to Composition, nope, I'm going to go up to Layer, <laughs> and I'm going to go all the way down here to the bottom to Pre-Compose. Now the key command for that is uh, Command-Shift-C, which is what I tend to use. And when you do this, you get the Pre-Compose window. Now what I'm going to want to do here is give it a name, so I'll call it Moving Squares. And because there's no effects or anything applied to these layers, I'm just going to only have the option to move all attributes into the new composition. So we'll hit OK. And now we can see all of those layers have been collapsed down into one single composition called Moving Squares, which, if I double click on it, opens up the new composition. So this is exactly the same as if I had started these animated elements in their own composition to begin with. So it's a great tool if either you started working on something and you really should have started in an outside composition before bringing it into your main composition, or it can also be used if you want to treat them as a group. So now, let's say I wanted to add a blur or a glow to all of these well rather than doing to each one individually I can now treat them as a group because they're all in this one composition so now when I go down to effect blur Gaussian blur and I'll ramp it up a little bit you'll see I'm applying that blur once but it's hitting every one of those squares had I had done this individually, I would have had to done it 16 times to each one of these layers. If you have any questions about pre-composing or compositions or anything in general, leave me a comment below and I'll try to answer it as best as I can.